Welcome aboard to Google Cloud again. Today we're going to be talking about Kubernetes, which is an open source project which can run in many different environments. From high availability to multi-node clusters, from public clouds to on-premise deployments, from virtual machines to bare metal. So in this lab we're going to run a web-based application using Spring Boot to Kubernetes, running on Kubernetes engine. So first thing we're going to go, we're going to set up our, our environment. First thing here, we're going to enable the cloud shell. Just click on continue. We're going to click here on Kubernetes. Right. Wonder that goes faster. Okay, now I'm going to clone my project. Let's go in deep into a folder. Now, let's see where I have here, ls. Okay, I'll, all my scripts, now I'm going to run it. Simply running it. Takes a while. Here we go, the version, looks like everything's running, printed everything, here we go, actually I can preview it, click in here. Greetings from Spring Boot. Okay. Done. Now we're going to pack it. And run the script package. Faster because I already downloaded everything previously. So now I'm going to enable the container registry. If you don't know what is the container registry, what is the container registry? Gonna talk about that and fill. Now I'm gonna run another command. Please check. Maven, ignore, skip tests. I'm going to use the Google Cloud tools with the plugin GB Maven plugin and it's going to create my image. So in this case, let me just prepare it on second. Here we go. It's going to create our, my image, GCR. The Google Container Registry, GCR.io, version one. It's creating my Docker image. Actually, I can get it from here, though, Docker images. Here we go. Here is nothing. I didn't push anything. But in case I'm going to run, I push that with my plugin, which I did before here. This is what I did. I can do it. No, sorry. What is my command is 
Sorry, we did do that again to point my image. I'm running Maven. That's going to container history. Is different what I did, container history. Hello world, V1, that's where I created. So the different thing is when you create a Docker image on the, I didn't put it on the console, the console, the shell, I mean, but I push it already to the container head. So I don't see on my virtual machine here. Now I'm going to run it. Spooling. It's going to run that in um, from the Docker image, so I can even preview. Greetings from Spring Boot. Perfect. All right, let's stop. Just counter C. You over that. You skip that. Now you're going to create a cluster. First thing, I'm going to enable enable the container Google APIs. Let's put on a cluster. Now I got going to create from here. I'm going to create by the command. And if you are going to run Kubernetes commands. Uh, switch it already by default. I, di I didn't even click on that, but refresh it automatically. Once it's created, you go into the cluster. You have to run the Kubernetes command get credentials, or you can just click from here. Then you're going to be able to run Kubernetes commands. Takes a while. Remember, we have a Docker image, Docker image on our container registry. Takes a while to create the cluster. Even it's the default configurations without Istio, whatever. And in theory, we're going to deploy use deployment on Kubernetes. And uh, I, I can say the Kubernetes can create can de Kubernetes deployment can create, manage, and scale multiple instances of your application using the container image. For example, we just created the container image. We can also use the command kubectl run for that. But we are going to deploy, create deploy, create a deployment. And refresh. Create the cluster really takes time. Yeah, done. If you click here, gives you the command. Get credentials. Run on cloud shell. Yeah, now I can run kubectl command. For example, kubectl get svc.
have only the default thing of the Kubernetes engine. In case now we're going to deploy, create deployment from our Docker image, remember? Okay, exposed. We can use this get pods. It's creating get deployment. That's why we just did. Let's create a load balancer. From here, kubectl creates service load balancer and the TCP pour. Okay, 88, let's create it. Just create and that gets the services. We are depending our external IP. Let's get the pods, the deployments and the pods. Running. Click on workloads. You can see your pods. Maybe you can scale up and down here. I use the scale command on the services. Probably you're gonna have your it's gonna give your IP address. Let's refresh. It's not yet. So we we run the services and fill. We must have an external IP address. Eighty eighty. This was closed. This was closed. G. It's time to answer. Or you can click from there. It's the same. Okay, what I want to show you guys right now, though, let's scale that. 101. Sorry for that. Three. Now I want to check the files. I want to open an editor. I want to change the code. Let's hope it will initialize. I don't want to use the, the shell for that. It should work. Wherever see the example. Let's see what we have here. In case I think there's another fold. Should 
should be under that. Let's wait it to it should work. Let's give a refresh. You can navigate it from here. What we have here, main. Here we have greetings from the Spring Boot. I'm going to get greetings from K8S engine. Fine. Okay, let's be back. Let's create another version. So I'm going to run another command here in case I'm going to create a, another version of it. is not going to show. Fine. So now let's run our version Two. How about that? In clay, in case, in one second, I'm preparing the command to set. Let's set image. QBCTL set image that deployment we just specialized the version two we just created. Updated. What are the effects right now on that? So if we come in here, greetings, we just changed it. Now we're going to roll out our deployment. Something, what is the, like, um, you, like, we're going to roll back the application. You're going to roll back the application from the previous version. I don't know if you ever think this command, roll out, undo the deployment we just mentioned. It successfully roll it back what do you expect to see here I'm gonna leave you there here let's refresh 
You create another pod on the other deployment ID. You can see this pod exited. Roll back on the fly. Well, that's all for today. We deploy that. We deploy it. Deploy it. A Spring Boot application. We create. We run that using just a Spring. With just the, the the shell with the Maven using Maven. Sorry. We run that using Docker commands. Docker run. We create the image. With we, we send it to the uh, registry. All right. The registry already handles everything for you, which is the container registry. Handles the image. You can see here, hello Java. In case we have two versions, we did that. We deployed one version and we rolled it back the other version. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.